how do you take your positivity and bring it to the, the work environment? I'm not always positive, but. <laughs> I feel um, like you at least um, are a little bit bubbly and despite any challenges you are face, you are able to like take it in and move on and keep like a confident uh, view towards the future. So one thing you probably don't know about me is that I'm a closet introvert. Mm, okay. I don't know that I ever think that I'm a fake person because most people who know me know that I'm not a fake person. But I think sometimes I just am so accustomed to this people pleasing and I feel like that I just need to, I was like, well, you know, for example, in the job environment, it's like, I'm not supposed to show my vulnerability and um, that has changed a bit. But, you know, it's just like, I wasn't quite allowed myself to be myself. I didn't think that it was the proper decor. So it was very strict, very traditional. Um, how do I maintain positivity? Books help, podcasts help, friends and your network uh, people and your team i have a really supportive um group of friends that really have been there for me for example one of my clients from day one we've been almost three years so they've been our client from day one and i really do value both the professional relationship and also the friendship that i have from these people and also you know, they did not, like, for example, now with all the layoffs, it's really rare to have someone that trusts you. They give me the freedom to sort of, like, pursue what I want as long as I get the job done. And sometimes in the traditional work model, people would be like, oh, um, you're working for us. You should not be working for somebody else. So one of the things that BPG does is that we because we are sort of consulting business, we run conflicts. So if usually when before engagement, I would talk to the client and let them know that give me the numbers and the client opposing counsel, I run the conflict and let you know whether we could cover for you. And then we will send an engagement letter and let them know that this is the terms and the scope of work that we're supposed to cover. Now, there have been times that I have to learn some major lessons in terms of like, oh, wow, I didn't think about this. Just chop it up as lessons learned. The next time you just re revise your engagement. And also knowing your worth is really important because people are always going to try to negotiate because well, that's what lawyers do, <laughs> right? Yeah. So I think know your worth, know what you can negotiate and know what you are not willing to negotiate. I think that's really important. Um, and that's the type of environment that I want to sort of build by mentoring and just growing with my team.